Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, we will take a look at how to write API test for delete method. So let's get started. Hey, welcome to my channel Automation Bro. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of my newly uploaded content. So we will be working with the delete method. While delete is always a bit tricky because once you delete the users, you cannot hit the same endpoint again with the same user because the user doesn't exist anymore. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. So I'm going to click on rest console here. And then what we're going to do is try to find out which user we want to delete. So I'm going to do get on slash users. And then let's see. Um, yep, yeah, sure. Maybe this one ID one. Let's delete the first user. So we're going to do slash one just to see if we can access this. Yeah, we can. We have this user over here. Then we're going to go to delete. So for delete, what do we have to do? Well, the route will remain the same. The URL will remain the same. We don't have to provide any body here because we are just deleting the particular user. So it's basically as simple as doing a get and then hitting user slash one. So if I hit send request, there you go. It says 204. That means it passed. And then our data is null. There's no particular data for that user anymore. And meta tag is also null. So what we are going to do is just to make sure that this user got deleted, go to our get test here, or basically our get request, and then hit send again. And then this time it says, yep, 404, the user does not exist. That means we successfully deleted that user. Now what I've meant was when I said that the delete is a bit tricky is because if I go back and try to delete the same user again, we will get 404 just like we got for the um, get endpoint. So that's why it's a bit tricky um, because you will just hit that particular user once and then you, it will get deleted and you will have to, for your next test, have to delete this with a different user. So ideally, what you would do in this scenario is create your user first and then delete it. Um, for this tutorial, what we're gonna do is keep it simple. We're just gonna use this delete route, delete it once, and then in the upcoming video, we'll take a look at a better way to handle this delete request. So for now, let's delete our some user. So what we're going to do is go back to get to find which user we can delete. Go away. Okay, let's see. ID2. Okay, so that exists. We're going to delete ID2. All right, I'm going to head back to our code section. And what I'm going to do is create a new test. So same as the last time, it's, we will do delete slash users slash id okay and then there's no data so this one is really straightforward we're going to do return request dot delete and then pass in the url which is our user slash user2 we have to set our authorization and do the same thing as over here so i'm just going to copy paste to avoid wasting more time no need to send any data here all we are doing is just hitting that delete request and then i'm going to do dot then we get in our response now if you notice the response that we got for the particular body that was null so i think what we can do for our assertion at this point um, is actually just make sure that the data is null. But before I do that, actually, you know what, if I print this out, this I won't be able to run this again. So I won't print it out, but we just did that in Chrome. So you know how that works. Um, I'm gonna just add in our expect assertion here. I'm gonna do test.body.data. And I would make sure that this is equal to null. I'll do dot null, all right. And uh, what else? Let me see if I'm missing anything. Nope. So we are doing request.delete, setting the cookie, and then we're hitting this. Yeah, I think this should work. I'm going to do dot only here. And then we don't have dot only here. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to run this. This should pass. Yep, it passed. If I run this again, let's see. And it failed because this time we uh, do not even found that user, right? We couldn't find that user because that resource doesn't exist. So that's what I meant. If you hit that same test again, you will run into an error. 
So in the next video, we will reorganize our test in such a way that we can run the same test file as many times as possible and our test will handle that with no issues. Alright, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's all for this video guys, I will see you in the next one.